Hey guys, Jed here. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to be learning how to collect like terms. So I guess the first example I'm going to give you is the most basic example, which is going to be x plus x. Now, something you should know about x from basic algebra is that when you write an x, it's essentially the same as writing 1x to the power of 1 over 1. So what this means is that the number in front of these x's, or the coefficient of x, which is the same as the number in front of them, is 1, but we don't need to write it. So x plus x can just be simplified to give us 2x. And that's the first most basic example of collecting like terms. The next example I want to show you is going to be slightly different, but it still uses the same idea from the first example. Let's do 3x plus 2x minus x. So how you'd collect like terms in this case is you'd add the numbers up from left to right. So we'll have 3x plus 2x, which gives us 5x, minus 1x will give us 4x. And that's the second example. For the third example, I'm going to show you two different variables being added together. So let's say we have x plus y. How you would simplify this is by writing x plus y. So you can't really simplify it. You know, the name of the topic is collecting like terms. So the terms that you collect, add or subtract in that sense, have to be the same. If they are not the same, you cannot add them. Okay, now let's look at an example where we are adding terms that have different variables in them. So let's say we have 4x plus 3y, which we can't simplify. However, if we have minus 2x plus 5y, now we can collect like terms. There are two sets of terms that are alike, and this is how it's done. You highlight the terms that are the same. So here we have a 4x. I'm going to look through my expression for any other terms that have an x. We have a negative 2x here, and that's the point I want to make. When you highlight this term, make sure you get the operation to the left of it. The operation to the left of all terms belongs to that term. So now that we've highlighted all of our x terms, we can simplify them. 4x minus 2x. That's how you would read it. So 4x minus 2x is equal to 2x. And that's the simplified version of that. Now we're going to go ahead and collect our y's. So we have 3y here and we have plus 5y here. And simplifying that gives us, so we have positive 3y and we add 5y to that. So that's going to give us plus 8y. And that's how you'd simplify this expression by collecting like terms. Okay, so now we're going to look at an example where the terms kind of look like each other. So here we're dealing with three x's. However, two of the x's have a squared next to it. In this case, a power, a difference in power, stops the terms from being alike, which means that we cannot add an x squared and an x. Also goes for an x to the power of three or an x to the power of four. You cannot add them if they do not have the same powers but you can add them if they do have the same powers. So how we would collect like terms in this instance, I'm going to highlight all of my terms that have an x squared in them. So it's going to be x squared plus another x squared. And an x squared plus an x squared gives us two lots of x squared. We then have a plus x remaining and there are no other terms with x in there. So we can just write it down as plus x. And this is the fully simplified version of the above expression. Okay, so now we're going to look at an example where the terms have variables that don't look quite the same, so you're not really sure whether you should be adding them together or not. But this is the only kind of example where you can add terms that don't look identical to each other. So we have 2xy and we have 4yx. And from our basic algebra lessons, we explain that Variables or terms that are next to each other but are not in the same order, although they have the same power, um, we can add them together. And this is what it would look like. So I'm looking for any terms with x, y in them. I have this term here, and I have plus 4y, x here. And if we add them together, 2x, y plus 4y, x, that's going to give us 6x, y. And if you remember from our basic algebra lesson, if you're ever given a chance to write a term down, 
always try and write it in alphabetical order just because it's good grammar. And we have a minus x remaining, which we cannot combine with them. And our final expression becomes 6xy minus x. And now for our final example, we've tried to make it a bit more challenging than the previous examples, but we're going to combine everything that we've learned from the previous examples. So we're going to collect like terms. I'm going to start with my first term. There is an x squared and the y cubed. So now I'm going to look throughout my expression to find any x squareds and y cubes that are next to each other, and it doesn't matter which order they have to be next to each other. So there's just an x here. I'm not interested in that. We have a y squared and an x cubed. I'm going to check my first term again. There's an x squared and the y cubed. It's not the same. Here we have a y cubed. Here we have a y squared. So I can just go ahead and disregard that term. We have another term with a solo x. I can just disregard that. And the final term here, y cubed, y cubed, x squared, x squared. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that with the symbol to the left of it. And now we can collect these terms together. I have five lots of these terms, and I'm taking away two lots of them. So that's going to leave me with three lots of them. Three lots of x squared, y cubed. Alphabetical order, remember? Now I'm going to go for my x terms. So we have a minus 4x here, and we have a plus 7x here. Adding those together, so minus 4x plus 7x should give me plus 3x. And finally, we have a term on its own that we can't combine with anything, so we're just going to go ahead and write it in alphabetical order. So we have x cubed, y squared. And that's pretty much it for collecting like terms, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you've learned something from this video. Any questions, please just uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them when possible. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves.